This is Gaga CFM in the morning. You tune to the very best. It's the uprising. Felix Stop and Japs and you at home. And today we have a very special in-studio guest. He is a true hero and a champion of the people. Uh, you may call him the president in waiting if you like. Uh, you will find out in this lovely, lovely heart to heart interview with the charismatic uh, Tutuzani Zuma. Alala! <laughs> like, I feel like breaking out in song. Yeah, go Jeff, ahead. So you got that yummy, yummy, yeah. yummy, <laughs> <laughs> yummy, yummy. Yes, yummy. <laughs> man. Uh, your parents couldn't have chosen a better name for you, Tutuzani. Like you're a comforter, right? That's what I do, man. That's, That's what, what you're do. doing to the whole entire nation. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but we try when <laughs> we can. But thank you very much, Felix and yeah. Jobs, for having me on your show, The Uprising. Um, it's by a the way, pleasure. just disclaimer: Uprising is the name of the show. We're not inciting violence. Uh, right. Don't come at me. <laughs> As Kali, <laughs> no, no. no. <laughs> uh, yo, thank you for coming thank in. You, very much, uh, sir. Thank you, you are a gentleman that refuses to be ignored. Uh, you out there, and um, in fact, um, the noise you're making out there, being visible in politics, one might ask, why now <laughs> suddenly your interest in politics? You are um, a, a branch chairperson, correct? What eleven? That's correct, sir. Tell me more. Okay, so the interest is is less of a calling, you know, that's not what it is, but it's, it's more of concern um, and just trying to be part of, of change. You know, there's people that are armchair critics, people will always say all sorts of weird and wonderful t uh, things, but do absolutely nothing. Mm. I've been a businessman my, my, my entire adult life, and I think like everyone else, we've realized that there's a need for intervention, a need for change. Um, but yeah, I'm stepping up because I'm taking a look around. Not many people are prepared to do so. I'm there. I'm, I'm, I'm going in. Yeah. So the, the, the political journey is new. Um, I'm not a career politician. I haven't been in politics ever in my life. I'm not that guy that can claim credentials from COSAS and everything else, respect to the young, to the young bucks. But um, where we're at today, I think the need for everyone to get involved is urgent um, in whichever sphere you're in. Just that small difference. Not everyone wants to be um, a member of parliament or mayor or whatever minister. But everyone needs to play their role, and we just need to make politics cool again. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, am I correct in saying that you are cleaning up the country? We're sweeping. Do we? We're sweeping this country off their feet. <laughs> you <laughs> literally <laughs> roll up your sleeves and you pick up Udoti and yeah. you are part of if, these if, cleanup if, campaigns. If we don't do it, who else is going to do it? Yeah. And I always say to community men, no, but it's we pay rates and taxes, and you know the the DSW and wherever else, and the, they'll come. And we're saying, look, they haven't come in two, three weeks. Who's going to pick mm. up this mess? If we don't do it, we're going to let this garbage pile up and it becomes a different problem. Exactly. So, so what we can do in front of our own doorsteps, let's do it. It seems like you really are um, getting serious and forging ahead with um, you playing an active role in Impagatea Shuga Shuga and in your political, your budding political career. But that we can expect from you in this new avenue that you're taking or is it perhaps uh, forging ahead with a legacy Eashiwa Ubabwako, the former president? You know, all due respect to the ones who've come before us, um, mm. uh, past and present, um, here with us or gone. Mm. Uh, may their souls rest in peace. I think we're at a time where a lot of our political heroes, uh, business heroes are at an age, I'm talking about the elder um, generation, and they've left their mark. You know, I I love my old man. That's that's my OG. Mm. You know, I've got a lot of love from him for him. Um, I've got a lot of love from him. I've learned a lot from him, and I'll continue to take counsel. But what I do is not what he does. Mm. The way he's done things is not the way I propose him doing things, or it's not the way that I've done things. I'm a different animal. Um, I'm current. I'm new. Got that energy. Got the vibes, Bree. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and we're here. We're here. We're here to 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 get things done. You know, I always say, just you know, so I'm not too long-winded. Um, Every generation needs to realize their mission. Mm. And ours, and this is part of what I'm trying to do, is to, well, what I'm doing, is to aspire um, the youngsters. To, sorry, inspire the youngsters so they, they, they create an aspiration to, to getting to a point where they are, you know, in a better place, where they believe in themselves. That's, that's my mission. As long as they stand up on their feet and believe in themselves and say, look, we can do it, that's my job done. Everything else is a bonus. So... When it comes to legacy, yes, there's a legacy that's been um, left behind. There's a legacy that will continue. Pick up that flag and we'll, we'll, we'll continue running this race. But I'm creating my own legacy. Sure. I've done it in the business world. Damn it, I'm about to do it in the political world. That's for sure. Let's go. <laughs> so, um, and also just talking about the legacy, um, 
uh, you have also inherited the negative part of it. We know that um, the former president, your father, <coughs> uh, was really, really hard done by the media here in South Africa and abroad. And you also seem to have inherited um, a certain level of hard scrutiny from the media. How are you handling that? How the media is treating you? You know, there's a, uh, that, uh, what, what movies they've, um, X-Men. Mm. There's a, uh, I forget the guy's name, but there's a character, he gets a lot of, um, his, so his power base is energy. Mm. So the more uh, bombs, um, bullets, um, missiles you throw at him, he, he absorbs them and he uses that energy to, 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 to retaliate and to, to carry on his fight. And I think that's, that's what I'm doing. Mm. The negativity is not going to keep us down. Um, people will keep insulting us whether we're doing good or not. Uh, I think what we need to realize is, you know, we need to just block out the noise. We're in our own lane. Nobody's doing what we're doing and we're continuing, we're continue, continuing on our journey. So when it comes to inheriting um, anything from, from my family name, from my father's name, I'll take it, good and bad, because there are some positives as well. Mm. So that, that, that average of, of the good and bad, I think we, we're in a good place and I'll take it. I'll take it. What are the positives? I want us to talk about that as well, because uh, I mean, coming from a, a prominent family name um, certainly does come with perks. I mean, Tuzane has been to places that we can only dream of. Yes. You are invited in rooms and sit with people talk to me, that girl. we can only dream. <laughs> they're part of our dream list. So talk to me about the positives of being Oagwazuma, specifically Ingane, a former president of Jacob Zuma. Firstly, uh, learning from him. Um, yeah. he's, he's got his own way of doing things. Um, you know, the, the never say die attitude. Mm. You know, that's something that I've always admired from him. You know, no matter what you throw at him, he carries on moving, you know. I remember speaking to him. It was one of the State of the Nation addresses, the time where towards the tail end of, of his, his um, presidency before he resigned. Um, there was a lot of commotion in the House and, mm. you know, the disruptions and the, the usual story. Um, and I remember speaking, him, speaking to him the following day, I'm like, yo, all that pressure, you know, why, why don't you just chill, you know, pick it up another day. And he said, look, the people have, have, have given me this responsibility. This is my job. Mm. Whether I, uh, the speech is delivered at two o'clock in the morning or not, whether the house is full or not, I'm going to do my job. I'm going to deliver the state of the nation. It's going to be on record that I delivered it. That's it. So that tenacity and, 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 yeah. and, and that go-getting attitude, I, I respect it. And he's got a... A very interesting way of, of, of moving around him. You know, I've learned from him. He's not, he's not afraid to, to walk on the ground. And I think that's what a lot of people are missing <laughs> these days. And we've got 10 toes down, boots on ground. And, you know, these are some of the teachings. Positivity is, yes, that it's a name that um, draws some positive attention or a lot of positive attention. Yeah. Not just in SA, but in Africa specifically and parts of the world. Um, and and people, people take note. Um, mm. he's, he's had his... There's positive milestones, a lot of them. And yeah. that's something that, that's badges of honor that he wears. And that's something that we are, not just myself, but a lot of us um, benefit from to say, oh, that's, that's someone we're close to. That's someone yeah. that we know. That's someone that is, has led us and inspired us. And we hope to do and achieve as much as he's done in mm. his <laughs> wonderful life. We started, we started the interview. I did refer to him as a president in waiting. <laughs> Um, because obviously you are a people's champion and a people's hero and you loved by, by many young and old alike um, uh, and general uh, mind uh, we are vying towards the elective conscience of the ANC in December is it soon perhaps to start thinking maybe you wanna go for that position you say is it too soon yeah no never it's never too soon yeah there's never the right moment there's never the right opportunity um, there's a friend of mine sitting in the room, uh, Winston, shout outs to Winston. You know, he always, he always says, and I've, I've learned from, from him, mm. you know, there's, um, there's a crossroads between um, opportunity and preparation. Yeah. You know, some people may have the opportunity at some point, but may not be prepared for it. So they miss that um, crossing point. And on the other side, some people uh, may be prepared, been working their whole lives, highly educated, but that opportunity never comes by. So those lines don't cross. So I live by that motto, and I believe that that crossing point is now, not just for myself, but for a lot of us. Could we see you putting your name in the hat? We did. As a matter of fact, we've won already. What are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, you'll catch awesome. up. You'll catch up. You'll catch up. <laughs> Tell me now. The reverb, the reverb's going to be strong. Yeah. Um, it's, it, like I said, we, we're in our own lane. What's being done, what everyone else is doing, two thumbs up to them, all the best, but we're here. 
And we're not playing to lose. We're here to, we're here to clean up. That's what we're going to do. Literally the son of a chess player. Um, <laughs> also, uh, did you inherit uh, from your father some of, he's known to be a master chess player and a master strategist also. Uh, do you maybe uh, take time and maybe just consult with him and sit with him and just revise strategy and devise strategy together? Oh uh, no, that's that's something that um, I consciously chose not to do. Um, okay. Of course, we we draw um, knowledge from him and, and from his experiences. But when it comes to to strategy, I have my own strategy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, as much as he may have done some amazing things, he's also made some mistakes. He's only human, mm -hmm. you know, and we're learning from 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 those mistakes. Um, so this is this is this is my journey. You know, yeah. people like saying no legacy, and you are riding on coattails. No, no, no. I'm I'm here. I'm, I'm my own man. I'm here to, to, to do my own thing. And when I say me, it's not just me individually. There's a lot of people that are riding on this journey and I'm depending on them as well. Yeah. Um, so, you know, uh, when, when, <laughs> when initially I'd spoken to him um, a few years ago, just, you know, dropped the hint like, yo, my man, I'm, I'm going in. Um, I don't know what he was eating, but he almost choked on it. He was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling on the floor. After yeah. I picked him up, he's like, yo, man, <laughs> Boys, Winston was there. Just go have something to eat. You guys, you guys are you, you guys are playing. Um, but I think even he will realize at this point. You serious? We have a problem. Yeah. We have a problem. <laughs> you know, and this is a problem that's not going to be solved. You know, we come in, we come in in hot. No. Come in in hot. The, the the people in South Africa that um, perhaps you have you have said you have ambitions of leading. Yes, ma'am. Um, perhaps on a presidential level, Ngelinyelanga. Um, they come from different sides of the sword. They are very privileged people in this country. They are very underprivileged people in this country. And Klampe, on the side of the underprivileged, there may be a sense, Yoguti, you don't identify with a lot of struggles of the average South African because you're an exile baby. You're the, you're the child of somebody very prominent. And so every day that an average South African will go through is not something that you're exposed to. And so will you actually be able to identify with the with the average on the on the ground person mengabe uzofiga as leadership thank you very much that's a beautiful question mm. madam jabs <laughs> um to put it simply struggle poverty they're not exclusive to the south african space okay. um, as a matter of fact i'd beg to differ i think I've, I've i've seen and i've experienced things outside even in exile that people would not know about and some people don't want to talk about but to understand what, what, the, what the struggles and, and, and issues are. Um, and that's something that I wear as, as a privilege. That's something that we've all, we're all from the same pool of poverty. That's, I don't care what anybody says. However, they can be popping bottles on Sundays and traveling the world on private planes. But we are all from the same pool of poverty, including myself. So mm -hmm. I've been there. I know what it is to, and, and I've seen it. You know, we haven't had the discussion with our, with our parents, but we've been the children that have seen hey, folks are going through some, some hard times. Yeah. You know? We were not born with a silver spoon in our mouths. Mm. I was born in exile because I couldn't be born here for the issues that were happening at that time. So when it comes to the underprivileged person, um, the poorest of the poor, this is the reason why I'm here. There need to be more people like myself taking up this mantle because we haven't forgotten where we're coming from. Mm. And we don't want to go back there because you know what it is to be um, down in the doldrums. So when it comes to representation, um, to touch upon an earlier point um, you made, we exist on... on, on on, on, on different plateaus. We can go to ground because we understand it. Um, we can go and sit wherever in the world you need to sit us, um, sit us at, you know, whether it's uh, um, uh, the US, whether it's in Europe, whether it's whatever, East, Far East, Africa, we can have these conversations because we exist on that plateau as well. But mm. we are not forgetting where we're coming from. We understand that if the issue of the poorest of the poor, their plight is not resolved in this country and elsewhere in the world, we're all doomed. It's as simple as that. Yeah. yeah. Simple. Uh, what would you say is a problem with this country? Say you were elected president, what is the one thing that you would <coughs> fix? Uh, yeah, so for this country, yeah. the first thing is our mindset as South Africans. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I always speak about this, and it's respect, number one, and discipline. Without those two things, we're not going to fix this country. We need to respect each other. We need to respect ourselves, um, regardless of your um, religious background, traditional, color, um, social um, standing, we need to respect each other. There's a lot of, and especially when it comes to, to, to the younger crowd, we're seeing a lot of crazy things happening, and it's purely based on, on, on respect. I um, mm -hmm. Something, respect is, is something that is, is, 
is, is taught, not, not given. And it's something that you need to exemplify. And, you know, that's something that I believe I do. And then discipline. We have a very ill-disciplined nation that's across the board. Um, people like pointing fingers, blame game. No one wants to, to take um, accountability. Um, and there's too many people sitting quietly when they realize we have issues in the country. Mm-hmm. And most importantly, people don't want to, 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 to get their hands dirty. People don't want to put their shoulders to the wheel. Because all I'm saying is, guys, let's work. Mm. If it means cleaning up a sewer together, then cleaning up a sewer it is. Mm. If it means um, changing the lives of people at, at, at schools and universities, let's do it. Everyone needs to come together and we need to be disciplined about it. We need to wake up every day and make it our, our, our mantra. Because do you feel like the current crop of leadership is, is detached from the real situation on the ground? Completely. Completely. You name them, the whole lot of them. You know, all due respect to them because I grew up under a lot of them. I know a lot of them, but they are detached. I always use the example of um, the aeroplane. You know, if you, if you travel, um, the last person you'll see normally jumping onto a plane with a BMW, with the orange light at the airport, um, will be someone that's prominent, right? And they jump into the business class, and then the first person off is the very same people, which is cool. We understand protocols and safety issues, yeah. um, but that's an, in, that's an opportunity for interaction. There's none of that. It's in the zone. It's 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 blinkers. Mm. Um, it's a bubble. It's they a live bubble. In the bubble. Mm. Right. And they yeah. don't and, and they, they don't interact with people. And yeah. you know, you look at it from the rallies that happen, from um, the conferences, it's us and it's them. Mm. That needs to change. Did, did we are all together. Did so. you inherit some of your father's enemies? And how do you think you're gonna fare now, uh, given that into um, consideration that there are people that still see you as your father um, and as you representing your father, you being a Zuma. Have you inherited mm-hmm. um, um, some enemies? Yeah, Felix is on fire, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Great question. I don't think so. Um, for the people out there, I think that see me as an attachment or um, um, an extension of, of my father and my family, uh, I think it's, it's definitely the wrong attitude to have. They s- can see my moves. They can see what it is that I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. I'm only spitting truth. The game I'm spitting is facts. Facts. I'm not coming here. I'm not pointing fingers. Whenever I speak, I speak about what it is that we propose and doing and how we're going to do it. Everyone else, what failures, what successes, that's for them to answer for. It's not my job, including my father. So when it comes to inheritance of enemies, I don't think so. As, mm. a, matter f- as a matter of fact, I think a lot of them are going to become my bestie. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, how did it make you feel up the, the, the time when uh, the whole country was holding its breath and, and we had the announcement that a uh, former president, uh, Jacob Zuma, was being sent to prison? We were all feeling some type of way. Uh, I just want to know, I want to get into your headspace. Where were you at the time and how did it make you feel? And um, do you have any feelings of resentment towards the people that maybe made the call? Yeah, so at that time I was dealing with my own, my own issues because there's some blame that was um, apportioned to me um, because of purported um, statements that I'd made. Um, on you and your sister? Yeah. Mm. Um, and Gizu. <laughs> you can get them on your show. I'm speaking for myself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can only speak for, for what I know. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Gizu. <laughs> um, so... At that time, I was, I was dealing with my issues because there's a lot of blame being, being apportioned um, to me, which is cool. It is what it is. It comes with the territory. Not true. And I think we, we definitely passed that. But um, I did feel some type of way. Um, the way it was handled and the reasons it happened. From my side, look, if, if there's a certain um, involvement from the judiciary and the way they do things, it needs to be fair on, on everybody. And I think from my side, and, and the only thing I say is, if there was any wrongdoing, it is what it is. Do what you need to do. But... The reason he went to prison was contempt of a commission. You know, um, there was nothing criminal of it uh, about it. He had stated his case. His lawyers mentioned what they needed to mention. You know, that was his defense strategy. Um, good for him. So when when they 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 picked him up and, and took him to to escort, I I realized look things are a bit different. Um, I do feel like he was unfairly treated for sure. That shouldn't have happened. Um, you, you take into account um, the reasons it happened, and as well someone who's of that age. I think it could have handled, been handled a whole lot, a whole lot better. That would have avoided certain, um, certain issues that we faced last year. Mm. And now I'm going to ask the question you've all been looking forward to. 
the charisma, the steez, the swagger, boy. How you do it, man? Everyone, everyone <laughs> likes you, my guy. No, Girls want to be with you. Guys want to be like you. And you're a family man, too. How do you do it? How do you manage to have everyone like you? Uh, I use Dove soap, it you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's silky smooth. Soap <laughs> ah, it's, 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 it's sunlight. The, the trick up your sleeve. No, your, no, no. Your charisma, your, your general likability. Uh, my brother Felix, uh, my sister Jobs. Um, shout out to Linton behind the camera. What's up, homie? I see you. Um, we've grown up in an environment where we get along with people. Mm. Um, we've we've travelled the world. We've grown up in different places. And all I say is respect i've spoken about discipline but also there needs to be a certain level of humility mm. you know there are a lot of people that have a certain ego that you know shouldn't be at that at, at those heights pride yes we all have pride so wh whoever we're interacting with you know i'm not one of these guys that will i'm not a disrespectful person but you know if you disrespect me then you know this what do you want me to do yeah you know, gonna be um, you know you, yeah, there will be repercussions <laughs> but, um even if it's a, a five-year-old mm. you know i when I greet a five-year-old, that you know, that's that's a human being to me, boy, girl, whether they speak or not, I afford them that respect, because I know what being given respect um, is. Uh, just a quick story on 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 just to uh, just to digress a little bit. Um, I had the pleasure of meeting His Late Excellency um, Dr. Robert Mugabe mm. a few years ago. This was before he passed on, and it was the first time I'd met him ever in my life. And he's one of the people that I'd always wanted wanted to meet. And when I walked into the room, and I mean, he was 80 plus at, at that time. I Maybe mean, not even 80 plus, um, 85 plus. The man stood up. So I even looked around like... To <laughs> so me. Me, no? Yeah, <laughs> you know, and then I'm like, okay. Greeted, said what he needed to say. And, you know, I had my little starstruck moment and five minute conversation and I left. And I realized, okay, I, I'm on the right path. I see it because he didn't have to get up. He's Robert... Mm -hmm. Mugabe, you know what I'm mm. saying? He's, he's, he's been there, he's played at the highest heights globally. And he afforded me that respect for whatever reason. I, you know, I didn't ask him and I don't know why. Yeah. And that is, that, is, that is the way I look at things. So when people show me love, because we get hate as well, you know, I take that with both hands at all times. Mm. It doesn't matter where it is. You know, if you show me love, I'll show you love back. Um, I don't think it's anything that's been worked on. I think it's, some, it's just upbringing. Um, you know, we, we love each other, we respect each other. And it doesn't hurt to, to greet, man. You know, so, you know, people out there always mean mugging. Mm. Come on, man. Ta <laughs> talking about mean mugging, um, I, I want to move to the side of your social media prevalence mm. and your blow up on social media. Um, that happened around the time of <laughs> Big Zulu's song, Himale Ning. Hey, what was Bang is perfect. Yeah, the, the designer challenge. The, I'm the designer walk shame. challenge. The Himale <laughs> Ning challenge. <laughs> now, let's talk about that. Was that a deliberate thing or did it start in Jay, by chance? You were just walking normally and what happened there? What happened? Well, what happened was... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, uh, well uh, what chief. happened? <laughs> 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 we were at the Hilton at that time, uh. and I'd just come back from Dubai. Mm. So it was the Mangosuthi University of Technology that invited me there um, for whatever reason at the time. Um, and I said, look, I'll honor the invite, and um, I'm on my way. So that evening, told they checked, are you here? Are you around? Like, around? We're on for tomorrow morning, 9.30, all good. Um, nine o'clock comes around, the guys are panicking, saying, hey, but we've told people you come in and we, they don't believe us. Um, can you send a voice note? I said, nah. So we're actually coming down in, in the, in the um, elevator, mm -hmm. and that guy, we shot off his phone, mm -hmm. went in the corner. They said, no, nah, let's just shoot the video so at least they can see we're here in Durban Central and we're on our way. So that mm -hmm. was the purpose of that video. So shot the video, just a quick clip, um, and then my man's did his <laughs> um, <laughs> editing, added his music to it, and he was like, yo, this song is great. I believe in this song. Um, and if he wants to speak for, for himself, he's here. And the messaging behind it is, is amazing. That's what, what it was. And at that time, mm. the song wasn't making the, 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 the airwaves it was making for whatever reason. So we said, no, plugged it, played it. And um, yeah, I'm, 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 I don't want to say shocked because that term is taken by someone else in this country. <laughs> but I am <laughs> I'm, 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 yeah, pleasantly surprised at how, 
You flattered. Yeah, yeah, now, I'm... this brought you a lot of attention that you already had from the ladies, but I'm guessing it quadrupled or multiplied it to another magnitude. So how are you dealing with the attention from OCC? Because you are, or oh, the last time you checked, you were a very taken man. Yes, ma'am. Um, yet there's also reports every now and again, you being linked to other media personalities. You were linked to Tuli Pongolo not too long ago. Um, they, 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 they may not be out there about it. So how are you dealing with that attention and you being linked to other people when you are a married man. No, we'll start with the attention part and the linking sec secondly, yeah. because I want to say something that's mashed up. Um, from the attention part, you know, I've, I've grown up, you always had attention. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this is, this is only, it's only coming out into the public domain now. <laughs> it's all good. Um, the attention is always, um, you know, I'm, I'm a very private, I've always been a private person. This has been um, um, the blow up or it being blown out of pr um, proportion is something that is a surprise to all of us but it is what it is I take that love you know mm. um, when people are giving love you know it's something coming from a good a, a good place and it's something that I'll receive from from a good place whether it's uh, females whether it's the homies whether it's the kids whether it's the elders um, that's something that I'll always embrace no doubt about it um, the linking people are always going to say things I, I, I always say I've been th there's not there's not one allegation that I haven't that hasn't been thrown at me in in in, in, in this country. Um, True. Uh, you name <laughs> it from from uh, the the links to my my sexual preferences to a whole host of stuff. Um, I've 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 been through it all. State capture. Yeah, you know, and, and everything. And it's just like um, <laughs> you, you know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, I know who I am. I know um, what the reality is, and and um, what I'm good for, what I'm not good for, and and what my truth is. And as long as that is out there, I'm happy. People are always going to say what they need to say. Mm. Um, yeah, there's haters out there as well. So I'm not sitting here thinking everybody loves me and it's all, you know, and I, I see the haters, man, and, and I, I, I welcome them and I appreciate them. I appreciate them because they, they're the ones that push us. I mean, you know that. Now, somebody may say that you're lucky uh, because, or you've got some something to use as a scapegoat, I don't know if I'm using the right term, where your love life is concerned because you come <laughs> from a polygamous family. Ubabwako has has a lot of wives and your family is big. And kids. So, yeah. <laughs> I see self Many. interest in that question. So, uh, uh, <laughs> whoa, she wants to whoa. know if you have polygamous man, <laughs> if maybe she still... Uh, no, has a chance there with you. <laughs> you. I come from this temple, so I must, I must carry it forward. Yeah. Is, is that you something that you're Jeff? thinking you of at all? Are no, not for, not for me. I'm asking for the ladies. <laughs> the other ladies. For the other the ladies. ladies. <laughs> <laughs> ladies. <laughs> not from... <laughs> I'm thinking, how is that very positional? Huh? You know I'm taken. No. Thanks. No, not all. And respect to that. Um, and, and, you know, congratulations to the person that's taken you, you know. Um, so, look, look, from my side, when it comes to living within the world that we're in and the traditional practices, cultural norms, um, it's something that I respect. Um, it's something that I appreciate. You know, I've never shied away from it. I'll never be like, nah, that's some BS. Um, but it's also something that, you know, I'm not out here walking around with, with 20 females, you know, and then, you know, trying to do that whole, that whole thing. Where I'm at right now, I'm in a good place. Um, I'm enjoying myself. I'm enjoying my life. I've um, got a young family enjoying that um, but you know we we live and we learn we live and we learn um no before we wrap up i, I just wanted to say what's wrong jobs she's like mm, <laughs> not satisfied. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not saying yes it's not saying no it's just i'm happy for now yeah <laughs> but watch the space <laughs> <laughs> so, so we're like you're in the future right? no we'll come back to it we'll come back to it we'll come back to it i think my um Biggest reason for loving you as a man, not only do you carry yourself like a leader, I think you're just ready to be a I appreciate leader. that, sir. You carry yourself that. as Thank a you. president. You, you're a future statesman. There's no doubt about that. Appreciate but that. what I like about you especially is how you have this affinity to uh, disenfranchised and marginalized um, um, society. You have been seen driving a taxi, my dear brother. You've been seen, actually, like you said, cleaning, cleaning up uh, the sewers. You've been seen, you've been seen a hostel. You've been seen 
Young uh, Indawe, we, we would not expect to see a person of your caliber in. And I would just like to say, keep it up. Appreciate that, um, sir. You inspire, um, I don't know, feelings of, of awe and respect and hope. Uh, That's the most important thing. So with that said, uh, please keep it up. And once when you get there, don't forget about us. I know where you are. Pull up on you, G. Yeah. You're right here. <laughs> no, we Pull must actually on. take an excursion yeah. in the quantum. <laughs> No, yeah. proper, proper, proper. <laughs> anytime, anytime. I'm yeah. good to go. Good to go. And 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 another thing, um, youth. What what would you like to say about the youth in government, youth in politics, and what would you like to say say about the plight of the youth right now? People like to trivialize it. People like to limit it and box it to just unemployment. But there's a lot of other issues facing the youth. What would you like? What hope? Message of hope would you like to give uh, to the to the youth? And also, should you ascend to power, um, youth in politics and youth in government and, and old people in government? Also, <laughs> <laughs> let's start with the, with um, the elders. Once again, we respect them. We've grown up under them. Um, we seek counsel from them, and we'll continue to. Um, we learn from them, um, and they've been our protectors for 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 some time. Uh, but what we always say is, every time, every time in history needs the people that are fit for pur purpose for that battle. And right now, the old people, yeah, it's not your battle to fight. You fought your battle. Um, you fought the, the 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 battle for liberation, and you delivered opportunities um, to to a lot of us that ordinarily wouldn't be sitting here. And we can't expect you to have. Um, two liberation um, um, battles in one lifetime. That would be unfair for us. Yeah. So sit down, relax, um, watch your soapies. We've got this. Um, wow. <laughs> we've got this. <laughs> and um, we've got the energy, we've got the vigor, we've got the resources, we've got the time. Um, and it needs to be seamless. It cannot be something that's seen as us battling, um, not just for ideas, but for, for power, if people want to call it, for, for relevance. Mm. It needs to be a hand-me-down. It has to. It has to be deliberately seen in that way to say, you know what, guys, we've played our part. Here you go. It doesn't have to be me. It has to, whoever you decide, the more the merrier. Because what happens is, and we lose it, especially within um, the, 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 the black community, is we don't have those stories of, of succession. Um, you know, you always look at, at our counterparts. They'll be so-and-so and sons and some and daughters, you know, I haven't seen the daughters far from me, so-and-so and sons, and then so-and-so and co. This is deliberately saying there's a history, there's um, a generation of, of people that have continued and will continue the fight for whatever it is economically, politically. What we're saying is if we don't develop that attitude, we'll always find ourselves in this situation where we're always battling each other mm. and the, the rest of the world is moving on. But at the same time, our youths, you need to take yourself seriously. The problem with our youngsters in this country is they don't take themselves seriously. We sit down, um, let's, let me put myself in that bracket. I'm 40, but yeah, I'm youth. Let's put ourselves in the same bracket. We can't keep waiting for people to come and save us. There's no superhero coming. True. Cape moment, landing, yo, let's go. I'm here to save the day. True. It's all of us. We are our own superheroes. When we see Felix standing up, we need to, we need to support him and say, we got you. When we see Jab standing up, yo, girl, you do your thing. Don't watch your back. We've got your back. Um, yeah. When you see Linton doing his thing, you know, Let's not criticize. Let's say, oh, how can we get you to the next, um, um, to the next level? That's what we should be doing. Instead, we keep bringing each other down. And then there's this whole thing of saying, oh, we are tired of the, 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 the elders. It's their job to sit and wait. They've got the time. They're going nowhere. They're not going to move. If they see that, that um, the youth are not serious, they're just going to occupy that space. We need to stand up. And that's our job, guys. Believe in yourselves. Support each other. Stand up because no one is going to hand over um, an economic opportunity to you. You need to go and get it. Yeah. We need yeah. to become a go-getting get, um, yeah, yeah. um, society. So to the youth of the country, let's take ourselves seriously. Because if you don't take yourself seriously, nobody will. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody will. Yeah. People looked at me two years ago. Sorry, you're doing what? Politics? Running for presidency? <laughs> <laughs> In 2022, different story. Mm. Two years away, watch the space. Yeah. You know, that's what it is. Because I believe in myself. And most importantly, other people have believed in me to say, you know what? We've got you. Whatever we need to come through, resource, ideas, capacity, we'll do it. And when I have the opportunity, I'll plug people in and say, yo, you run in this direction and we'll hang on to your coattails. And that's how we build each other up. 
Thank you so much for joining us. I hope Appreciate next time, this. though, like you've shared, a, you've shared a lot of light on a lot of things that we perhaps didn't know about you or we've never heard coming straight from your mouth. So, uh, things coming from the horse's mouth. But so we need to schedule uh, we need to schedule a few Zulu lessons for Tutuzan. Yeah. Felix, this this one is needs to be spearheaded by you. Of course. Yeah. yeah. And then the right. next time we sit down with you, we're gonna have a full conversation. <laughs> Let's go. Up for the challenge. Let's lights. go. Yeah. Nice. Youth stand up says the next man. The future of this country. Uh, Tutu Zanizuma, the charismatic, uh, talented, and man full of uh, zest for life. He and the future. Cute. Say? Cute. No, no, no. Don't. You're going to start some other rumor. <laughs> no. <laughs> and President and Felix, is, Felix is not my type. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you so much no, for taking time much. to... Thank you very much. Uh, to, to be with us and shed light and also just uh, um, give us uh, an insight into your headspace and where you're hoping to take this country. Yeah. Uh, good luck and Godspeed. Thank you very much and thank you very much for affording me this opportunity. Uh, Assistant Jobs, my brother Felix, um, we don't take these opportunities lightly. Mm. Um, so we're very thankful that we could come here and you know normally interviews is where I'm, I'm on defending. You're on edge. Was, you know, this was, this was, yeah, on edge and you know, uh, you know, anyways, but Thank you very much for this opportunity. It was a great conversation, awesome. um, great questions, and the energy in this room has been amazing. I, I appreciate, I appreciate this. The uprising. Let's go. What's up? One day I'll, I'll say to my to my son, twenty years from now, there I was in twenty twenty two. So even President Tuzani. No, no, no. You're, you're gonna say that to him in twenty twenty four. Two years. Oh, <laughs> two years. <laughs> twenty years. Is too far, <laughs> I was like, when, I, when I'm old, I'm like, that was two my years, interview yeah. in 2022. No, two years no, before you, will you see became you. president. No, no. you'll be yeah. see you. you. Is it? Two years. Two years, two years time. Two years time. <laughs>